Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. With reference to the Vedic governance, consider the following statements. Vidhata was an assembly meant for debating military matters during Vedic period. Both women and men took part in the Vidhata assembly. We have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. So the correct answer is option. C, both 1 and 2. Recently, while addressing the United Nations General Assembly, the Prime Minister made an important historical point that India is not just the world's largest democracy, but also the mother of democracy. There is evidence in the existence of uh, proto forms of democracy and republicanism in ancient India. The Vidhata or the Assembly of People for debating policy, military matters, and important issues impacting all has been mentioned more than a hundred times in the Rig Vede, both women and men, to part in these deliberation. Moving on, consider the following statements. Ethanol is naturally produced by the fermentation of sugars. Use of ethanol blended petrol increases emissions such as carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. We have to select the correct statement. If we talk about ethanol, ethanol, if it is blended, it will not increase emissions, it will decrease emissions. So. The second statement is incorrect, but the first is correct. So, the correct answer is option A1 only. India's ambitious plan to cut the use of fossil fuels by promoting ethanol is drawing criticisms from some experts who warn the move could undermine food security in the world's second most populous country. Ethanol is naturally produced by the fermentation of sugar by yeast or via petrochemical processes such as ethylene hydration. Moving on, use of ethanol blended petrol decreases emissions such as carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. Moving on, consider the following statements. Silvery gibbon is endemic to the Indonesian island of Java. Silvery gibbons are listed as endangered on the IUCN, red list of threatened species. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. The correct answer is both 1 and 2. Indonesian officials and researchers are working to preserve a small pocket of forest on the heavily populated island of Java as the habitat of the silvery gibbon, which they say is endangered while facing climate change and human encroachment. Silvery gibbon is endemic to the Indonesian island of Java and are listed as endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species. Moving on, which of the following countries are a part of high ambition coalition for nature and people? India, Britain, Costa Rica, or France. So, all of them are actually a part of the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People. The correct answer is option D. At a ceremony held between the French and Indian governments on 7th October in New Delhi, India officially joined the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People. The High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People was launched in 2019 by Costa Rica, France and Britain. Consider the following statements with respect to Henley Passport Index 2021. It ranks all the words passports according to the number of destinations their holders can access without prior visa. Japan has ranked first in the index for three consecutive years and there is a trend of continuous decline in India's position in the index since 2019. We have to select the correct statement. The first statement is correct that it ranks all the world's passports now on basis of what? According to the number of destinations. How many destinations through a passport a person can visit without a prior visa? These are the certain keywords that we need to understand. And second is correct that Japan has ranked first in the index for three consecutive years back to back. And India has shown a decline, continuous decline since the year 2019. So the correct answer should be 1, 2 and 3. That is option D. India has been ranked 90th in the most Powerful Passport Report, Henle Passport Index of 2021. The Henle Passport Index is the original ranking of all the world's passports according to the number of destinations their holders can access without a prior visa. Moving on, India was ranked 85th in January 2021's index, 84th in 2020 and 82nd in 2019. Moving on, consider the following statements. PDS was introduced during the famine threats of 1984. 
The public distribution system is an Indian food security system established under the Ministry of Consumer Affairs. We have to select the incorrect statement. So, if we talk about the first statement, this is incorrect. Why? Because PDS was introduced during the times of World War II and not 1984. That was earlier in the late 1930s and early 1940s. And second is correct. So, the correct answer should be option A as we had to select the incorrect one. In a view of the benefit of farmers along with keeping traders and middlemen at bay, the Department of Food and Public Distribution has developed an application ecosystem which allows the integration of procurement portals of all state governments having minimum threshold parameters for monitoring and strategic decision making. PDS was introduced around World War II as a wartime rationing measure before the 1960s distribution through PDS was generally dependent on imports of food grains. The PDS is an Indian food security system established under the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to PM Cares for Children scheme. The objective of the scheme is to ensure comprehensive care and protection of children who have lost their parents due to COVID-19 pandemic. The scheme provides for support of these children from the age of 18 and a lump sum amount of 10 lakh rupees on attaining 21 years of age. We have to select the correct statement. So the first statement is definitely correct, but the second is not. Because at the, if you talk about the maturity of the fund, the lump sum fund of rupees 10 lakh, it is achievable at the age of 23 and not 21. So the correct answer is option A, one only. The government yesterday issued guidelines for the PM Cares for Children scheme. PM Cares for Children scheme, the objective of the scheme is to ensure comprehensive care and protection of children who have lost their parents due to COVID pandemic. Moving on, the scheme provides for support to these children through convergent approach gap funding for ensuring education, health, monthly stipend from the age of 18 and lump sum amount of 10 lakh rupees on attaining 23 years of age. Moving on, the State of Climate Services 2021 Water, a report recently seen in the news has been published by which of the following organization? United Nations Development Fund, United Nations Environment Programme, World Wildlife Fund for Nature, World Meteorological Organization. The correct answer to this question is option D. More than 5 billion people globally are expected to face a shortage of water by 2050. A United Nations agency report has warned. The World Meteorological Organization said that climate change increases the global risk of water-related hazards like floods and droughts and the number of people affected by water scarcity is also expected to soar. According to figures cited in the report, 3.6 billion people had inadequate access to water at least one month per year in 2018. By 2050, this is expected to rise to more, to more than 5 billion. The report has titled that the State of Climate Services 2021 water is titled by this name itself. Consider the following statements with respect to laser-based clad coating technology. Laser cladding is a technique for fusing a coating material on a substrate. It can be used to improve protection to the boiler parts in the thermal power plants. We have to select the correct statement. Both these are correct. The correct answer is option C. Indian scientists have developed a unique laser-based clad coating technology. Laser cladding is a technique for fusing a coating material on a substrate. It allows materials to be deposited accurately, selectively, and with minimal heat input into the underlying substrate. It can provide improved protection to the boiler parts in thermal power plants. It can enhance the life of boiler parts by two to three times compared to currently used surfacing technologies. It has been found that this technology is suitable not only for boiler parts of thermal power plant, but also for any engineering application involving high temperature, erosive and corrosive environments. Consider the following statements with respect to cotton. Only light rainfall 50 to 100 centimeters is preferred. It is a kharif crop and requires 12 to 15 months to mature. It requires at least 210 first three days. We have to select the correct statement. The first statement is correct that only light rainfall that is 50 to 100 centimeters is preferred. Also, it is a kharif crop. But it requires 6 to 8 months to mature and not 12 to 15 months. So the correct answer should be option 1 and 3 because third is also correct. It requires 210 frost-free days. 1 and 3 is correct, second is not correct. The correct answer is option C. 
an MOU was signed between GIZ and the Ministry of Textiles Government of India on implementation agreement of Indo-German Technical Cooperation Project on Sustainability and Value Added in the Cotton Economy. The objective of the project is to increase the value addition from sustainable cotton production in India by focusing on sustainable cotton and strengthening of downstream processing. Cotton is a tropical or subtropical crop grown in semi-arid areas of the country, mainly in the Deccan Plateau. Hard frost is injurious to cotton cultivation and it requires at least 210 frost-free days. Only light rainfall, 50 to 100 centimeters, is preferred. Moving on, cotton can also be cultivated under irrigated conditions. It is a kharif crop and requires 6 to 8 months to mature. Moving on, consider the following pairs. Nobel Prize winner, we have to match them with the year of their award. Peter Handke in 2018, Olga Tokarczuk in 2019 and Louis Gluck in 2020. So we have to select the correctly matched pair. Peter Handke was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 2019 and Olga in the year 2018. So these are incorrect. Louis Gluck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 2020. So this is correct. The correct answer is option C. Tanzanian novelist Abdul Razak Gunra has won the 2021 Nobel Prize in Literature for his uncompromising and compassionate penetration of the effects of colonialism and the fate of the refugees in the gulf between cultures and continents. Nobel Prize winners, as we said, Louis Gluck won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2020, Peter Handke in 2019 and Olga Toka Cruz in 2018. Moving on to the practice question. Consider the following statements. The 42nd Amendment Act of 1976 transferred forests and protection of wild animals and birds to the Union List under the 7th Schedule of the Indian Constitution and protection of forests and wildlife is a fundamental duty of citizens of India. We have to select the correct statement. So I hope you'll be answering it correctly in the comments segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching.